Hi, so this is me in the future. Yeah, I'm already in the military. I am wearing the uniform as you can see. Oh my gosh. And I'm in a completely different place. So yeah, but just to clarify, all of these things that I'm saying in the future, uh, they were just suspicions or uh, I didn't have any facts to back them up. Of course, military is hard. It's supposed to be hard, but it's also really fun, actually. Not gonna lie, I've had a lot of fun during the two weeks that I've been in the military. Of course, yeah, there are some hard times. It's only natural, but it is a lot of fun. Not gonna lie. But yeah, my hair has grown out a bit. I have a beard and so on and on and on. But just so you know, I'm doing great in the military. I'm actually doing surprisingly well in the military. And it is fun. And I, for all of you who are watching this video and are also going to the military, don't be scared of the military. It's actually really fun and you will have a lot of memorable memorable times and you will have a lot of fun. Of course, there are going to be some uh, hard times, but it's also going to be really, really fun. This, by the way, I'm not currently in the military. This is my home, uh, a new home. But yeah, this is not the military. I'm not allowed to record or do anything like that in the military. So yeah, I can't really go into too much detail, but just so you know, I'm doing well over there. And don't be scared of the military. It's, it's a lot more fun than you might expect. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, hi there. My name is Blank and welcome to my... Something. I guess. Anyways. No, I'm not in the military yet. Yes, I did get my head shaved. I have like a few millimeters of hair left. <sighs> I had a party like two days ago and it was crazy. My friends shaved my head. They drew something on my head, but I'll let you guess what it was. You motherfuckers, I know you'll be watching this video. By the way, I just woke up. I just woke up. Like, what's the clock? I woke up 16 minutes ago. So if my voice is a bit weird or if my eyes look tired, it's probably because of that. So, where have I been? I can tell you one thing and it isn't military. I am not in the military yet. I'll be going to the military tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Today is 13th of October. And tomorrow is 14th of October when I will be going to the military. But what have I been doing? Well. Like. A lot and not a lot, kind of, at the same time. I've been playing uh, games with my friends, spending time with my friends, play, spending time with my family, and just trying to rest and give myself a bit more time and process what's about to happen and get ready for what's about to happen. And now, I'm not in the military yet. I know I have a shaved hair, but... I mean, it is because of military, but it isn't because I'm in military right now. My friends shaved my head a few days ago. We had a party. I'll talk about that later, maybe. But basically, yeah, I have been doing a lot and I haven't been doing a lot at the same time. 
I've been spending time with my friends, my family, and giving a lot more time for myself to get ready for what's about to happen and also rest, fix my sleeping schedule. It's fucked up, you wouldn't believe. I just now. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> believe it or not. For the. Like, I, I don't know how many videos I've recorded with a webcam or camera, but I'm still not used to looking at myself whenever, or overall actually, I'm not used to looking at myself for long periods of time, like a quick second, that's fine. But like six minutes, it has been six minutes for me and it already feels like okay. And I'm still not used to actually having practically no hair. I know it looks like I'm completely bald, but I do have like some hair actually. I am going to the military. Why? Who the fuck on earth knows? From what I've learned, I shouldn't even be in the military to begin with. Finding out that you're going to the military and later on finding finding out that you shouldn't even be here. For anyone wondering why I shouldn't be here, it's because I had a health checkup where I discovered that my heart is fucked up. Why? Who knows? Can I fix it? Who knows? What's the cause of it? Who knows? Like, the doctors, what they did was they just put, like, a few vacuum tube thingies on my chest and then looked at the screen for a few seconds and said, Okay, your heart skips a few beats from time to time, but you're good to go. And then... I was told that I have fucked up legs and I'm gonna have to have like some sort of a leg support thingy while I'm doing my exercises and stuff like that. Psychologist uh, didn't really do shit. Like, basically how the talk with my psychologist doctor went was is basically, or I mean was basically like I walked in she just took a look at me, asked asked my name, I sat down, said my name. And for a hot minute, not a single word from her. Not a single word. And then she started asking something completely random that doesn't even have to do anything with my fucking health i can't remember what it was but one question led to another and we basically had a small talk yeah we basically had a small talk i didn't know that i was supposed to tell her that oh i'm mentally ill i have depression because i actually do suffer from depression like I've been going to the same school, not anymore, I finished it like three years ago, but I had gone to the same school for seven years and I was the only student in my class. Like, I was alone in my class. I was bullied, I didn't have any friends, and I was alone. So yeah, it's natural for anyone to get depression from something like that, so... Yeah, I did get depression and it basically lasted for the whole seven years, basically. I'd say seven and a half years, but yeah. But I didn't know. I was supposed to tell her that. Actually, I didn't think that I was supposed to tell her that. I was just supposed to answer her questions. Of which she asked none, at least. She didn't ask any questions that were relevant 
to her job. I have a friend who did uh, who wasn't able to go to the military because of his uh, history with depression. I have a friend who has a friend who wasn't able to go to the military because of his fucked up leg and it's a, the exactly same condition as my leg. Like, it, it's the exact same problem, basically. And all the people I know of who are in the military keep saying that I shouldn't even go to the military just because of that heart problem that I have. Sorry, I had the burp in the middle of that sentence. I don't know why. And from what I've been told, not by a doctor, okay? Not by a doctor. Let's just clarify that. A doctor did not say that. But I still believe it's quite true. I have a chance of getting a heart attack while I'm doing the military exercises. On top of that, I'm going to the most extreme bloody military platoons in Estonia. Okay, that looks hella weird. I don't know why. I'm still actually not used to this. I am still... <laughs> I am still not used to this. There's actually so fucking many things I would love and like to do, but I fucking hell just don't have time, you know? Like, yesterday I got myself Doom Eternal, started playing it, it was hella fucking fun. It's one of those games that I would just play if I'm bored. I wouldn't play it, like, I wouldn't be excited to go back into this game but I would like to play it when I'm bored because it's I wouldn't say that it's really a hard game so to say but it's kind of laid back relax shoot and have fun kind of a game you know but then again uh, I mean I can take my switch to the military I can do that. So I will have at least something to distract myself with. But then again, a lot of games that I like to play mostly on PC are either coming out or, I mean, a lot of games that I would like to play in the future or am currently playing. They are either getting some sort of updates, or they are still releasing. Or I just haven't spent that much time in them, and would like to spend more time in them. And all that stuff. My voice is getting kinda wavy. <laughs> vibrating, but... I just don't have time for them. Which is kinda funny, because if I had gone to the military... About a month ago... I would be completely fine with that. It's just that right now, at this very moment, it's not good. If I had gone to the military a month ago, I wouldn't have known that all of these games are coming out. And back then, I would be fine. And I wouldn't also know that all of these updates are coming out. But right now, in four days, Sea of Thieves will get a season update. Which will have two new weapons, a trap, you can go into chests and disguise your, yourself as, for example, a chest of legends. Or chest of fortune and troll someone. And you can also go in the barrels, which you were able to do before with a emote, but this time around you can also walk around with them. While wearing the barrel, and you can also lean off of ships sides and be more sneaky you can grouch now as well for how old is this game like six years something like that i think i think hold on is that true we're on season 14 and it the game is six years old okay but anyways yeah 
I think the game is six years old, and ever since the game released, we were not able to crouch. Unless you had an emote where you technically kind of crouched, but you still weren't able to move around while being crouched. Now you can just do that by pressing C or control, I don't know which one. And there's a lot more coming to this game. New foods, new items to unlock, new commendations, unlockable items, all that fucking fun stuff that I would like to do. I would like to get my bloody skeleton curse, but for that I have to get 80, no, 90, no, 79 more levels to, heart to Hearts of the Flame faction. Oh yeah, that also kind of reminds me, I won't be posting maybe any videos at all with my phone anymore. Like, this might be my very last video that I, I record with my phone. Because my phone is kind of broken, it likes to sh do a restart, like, from time to time, for some reason. And it doesn't even do a proper restart, it still leaves all of the apps that I have opened, open in the background. So, what's the point? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Nah. -uh. To be honest... Mostly this video is not about me. It's about you. So, thank you for 112 subscribers. You honestly have no idea how much that means to me. But just so you know, for minimum 8 months, I'll be gone. And I won't be uploading any videos or doing any streams unless I really feel like I have the energy to do it. Or if I have time for it, because first of all I have to record it, then edit it, and then upload it. Three steps, each of which take time. When I stream it, then streaming overall takes time. I have to set it up first, first of all, and then stream it, which takes a, actually a bit less than a video would take to upload and finish and complete and do all the things overall, but yeah. I can mostly upload shorts on it. So for the next eight months or so expect maybe a few shorts we'll see but yeah uh, like i've said before this isn't my first channel actually i think it's my hold on one two three four five six channel something like that and I've never even gotten as far as 50 subscribers, so for me, getting twice as many subscribers is just awesome and a huge milestone for me, so a huge thank you. I just wish I could, like, do a lot more because I have so many fucking good ideas for future streams and videos. But I just don't have the fucking time to do that. Of course, I mean, my overall plan was to finish it in isolation before I start playing any other long term games. But I would also have loved if I could have played like Baldur's Gate 3 on a stream while you the viewer make all of the decisions decisions not me i am the one who does moving around and focuses on battles i know it's a lot longer that way it takes a lot longer that way but i mean better than nothing right And it, of course, it wasn't my only 
game that I was planning to play. There's so many more, but Baldur's Gate 3 is one of the greatest games that I own and know. And that's the only one that I can remember on the top of my head. Really, thank you. But yeah, thank you for basically everything. You were the only reason why my summer was actually interesting. Honestly. I had basically nothing else to do. If I hadn't made videos or streamed, then this summer would have been hella boring. And thanks to you, I had at least something to do. I tried out some new hobbies, right, Minion? I did try out some new hobbies, right, Minion? Yeah, fuck off. Anyways, I think this is it. I honestly don't know if I will be uploading this. It would be funny though if I could upload this, so... I probably will. Guy and Doc are gonna question my reality because I don't have my hair anymore. So, yeah. Anyways. Bye.